Hi, I'm Dr. Jimmy Gutman. Uh, my focus for the last 25 years has been on glutathione. In fact, I'm the leading author of books on this topic. Today, we're going to discuss briefly on how to raise glutathione levels in the body, what works and what doesn't. In general, if you're presented with something that claims to raise glutathione, you need to do the following. Always ask for scientific evidence done on humans that proves that it works. Scientific evidence, that means something is published on human uh, beings, uh, and uh, this publication appears in established medical journals. Uh, let's get on to some specific products. Taking oral glutathione or eating glutathione doesn't work. When you eat glutathione, it's destroyed by the digestive process. There are hundreds of research articles that demonstrates this in the medical literature. Finally, doctors don't use oral glutathione to raise glutathione levels. NAC does raise glutathione. In fact, NAC is the most studied way to raise glutathione and is used by hospitals everywhere. However, NAC has some major problems. It has some toxicity itself, uh, mostly gastrointestinal. Um, it, number two, it, it has to be taken several times per day uh, to remain in your body. And number three, its effects wear out after time. So NEC works well. It, it just has some problems you need to be aware of. When you eat cysteine, usually this is in the form of L-cysteine, uh, it's rapidly oxidized in the digestive process and will not raise glutathione. Uh, doctors don't use cysteine, and this is why scientists invented N-acetylcysteine back in the 1960s. Commercial whey protein has been denatured or altered from its original form during the manufacturing process. Uh, this makes the protein lose its ability to raise glutathione. If a company claims to have undenatured whey protein, make sure you ask to see human clinical studies to prove this. Taking these amino acids, glutamate, glycine, and cysteine independently will not raise glutathione. Again, the cysteine becomes oxidized in the digestive system and will not raise glutathione. There are several types of glutathione available, including liposomal glutathione and nanoglutathione. These forms of glutathione have very little research evidence that they work. Uh, there are no robust clinical trials that exist. There is absolutely no scientific evidence to show that glutathione mouthwashes work. None. There's no scientific evidence that glutathione patches work, none at all. IV or intravenous glutathione does work, but its effect only lasts for literally minutes. These effects quickly disappear. Inhaled glutathione has been shown to work in some small studies. It works on the level of the lungs, but it doesn't get to the rest of the body. Immunocal is recognized by the medical community as a way to raise glutathione. It's an undenatured form of whey protein, which contains bonded cysteine. 
This is what raises glutathione levels. It's been proven by multiple research studies published in top class medical journals, and it has dozens of international patents. Immunical is a medically proven way to raise glutathione.